Welcome to today's webinar. My name's Sally and I'm an occupational therapist here at Life Tech. Today's webinar will be on assistive technology for people with a vision impairment. I'll jump straight into the webinar, but if you'd like to know more about Life Tech, please go to our website, www.lifetech.org.au. So today's webinar is the second in the series. In the previous webinar, um, I went through an introduction to vision impairment and talked about food preparation for people with a vision impairment. It's on our website if you'd like to watch it. Today I'll be focusing more on instrumental activities of daily living. So these would include finding objects, self-care, recreation, managing money, using the phone and mobility and safety. So as you can imagine, people with a vision impairment find it hard locating different items around the house and in the community. These items might include things like food, clothes, medication and CDs, for example. So people can use different types of magnifiers to find things. Um, I'll talk about magnifiers more in the next webinar in the series. So I'll cover low-tech magnifiers as well as high-tech magnifiers. Um, but other than magnifiers, there are also different types of scanners available. So the IDMate Summit barcode reader, the picture on the left, will um, say the food when you scan um, the device onto the barcode. So you can wear headphones, so um, it can be a discreet option for people when they're shopping. Uh, and it does come with recordable barcodes as well. So you can attach these to CDs, medication, clothes, um, things that don't have a barcode on them. So the database of food is really quite good. Um, I've tried it out and it's recognised even the Coles and Woolworths brands. Um, it is priced at over $1,000, but it's funded through the Lions Visual Independence Foundation. Um, the Touch Memo Audio Labeler, the picture on the right, uh, basically comes with stickers. You can record a message and attach the stickers to different items around the house. Um, so that some of the stickers are washable, so you can put them onto clothes or um, onto pots and pans and that sort of thing. So when the person touches the pen to the sticker, it plays the message. It's priced at around $150, um, but you do need to pre-record the items. It won't automatically come up with them, like with the ID Mate barcode reader. In the next webinar, I'll also uh, talk about apps for locating objects and scanning items as well. Uh, so self-care, basically people can use colour detectors and scan the colour detector onto an outfit for example um, and then it will say, give a basic description of the colour, so very light blue for example. Um, you can also get apps that are colour detectors which I'll talk about next time as well. Uh, elastic shoelaces, the picture on the right. Basically, the person can avoid doing up shoelaces. They can slip their shoes on instead. Um, and just thinking about um, organising the wardrobe and um, cupboards, so maybe hanging outfits together and putting a tactile indicator um, to identify that outfit or folding items together. Self-care, so... Um, for in the bathroom, a colour contrasted toilet seat. Um, you can imagine that for a person with a vision impairment, all the white makes everything blend into one. Um, for men you can, who need to lift up the toilet seat to urinate, you could put um, contrasted tape around the top of the toilet so that they can see it more clearly. Um, for monitoring vital signs, there's lots of different um, talking devices 
So talking blood glucose monitors, talking scales, talking blood pressure monitors, for example. Different types of magnifiers. Um, so I really like the magnifying mirrors. Um, you can get these from places like the Shaver Shop. Vision Australia has a nice one. And they've got light built into them as well. So recreation. Um, for watching TV, a lot of people find the TV, the Max TV glasses work really well for them. Um, Quantum and Vision Australia sell these. They magnify up to 2.1 times and the person can focus each eye individually. Uh, plus, you know, the simple strategy of sitting closer to the TV as well. Jumbo TV remotes, um, so the person could choose one that just has the really important buttons and is more simple. Um, the Tech Pal remote, the picture in the middle, or they could look for um, a universal remote where they can use the DVD player, Foxtel, um, choose channels using the numbers, for example. Um, Vision Australia does a talking set-top box which basically speaks out the electronic program guide um, so that the, if the person can't read that small print telling them what's on TV um, the device will speak it out for them. For sewing and craft, um, different types of needle threaders, easier to thread needle, so the self-threading needle, or different um, hands-free magnifiers. So um, there's a version of the Max TV glasses for detailed work rather than um, distance viewing. Um, so the Max Detail Glasses Vision Australia sells them as well. You can get different types of um, lamps and magnifying lamps that are designed for craft work where the person can hold their hands underneath um, a magnifier that's lit up um, which can make it a lot easier for people. I know um, Vision Australia has one of these that's costed at about $45 at the moment as well. I'll talk about um, the CCTVs more in my next webinar. Uh, but this is a picture of a CCTV with a pivoting camera. So you can point the camera onto your hands and view them uh, magnified at a really large um, amount on your screen. So different types of games that are available. Um, large print games. So you can get large print board games. Large print cards are really popular and um, it's great to use these with a card holder as well so that you can lay everything out so that it's nice and visible. Um, audible balls, so basically they have a bell inside of them um, so people with a vision impairment will especially play a blind cricket and goal ball as well. Um, and then tactile games, so there's um, tactile chess as pictured, there's Braille you know, um, tactile connect 4, so lots to keep people entertained. Uh, for building, there's a talking tape measure and um, talking spirit level, and I know Vision Australia has a nice uh, fact sheet on carpentry for people with a vision impairment as well. Different information about different products like nail guides. So for managing money, you can imagine that people with a vision impairment um, will often have a lot of problems with their coins. So they might get um, the 10 cent piece and the $1 coin mixed up for example. So I guess just emphasising um, organising money before the person leaves the house. So having a really nice big wallet where you can have um, the cards all nicely set, up, set out, maybe having tactile indicators on different cards. 
then the person might have in one compartment of their wallet all their $2 coins in one of their coin holders and all of their $1 coins in another coin holder and then all their silver in another compartment of the wallet. Um, there are coin organisers that organise each coin so um, they separate out 5 cents, 10 cents, 20 cents um, and so on. And there are also notes which separate the notes um, in their different denominations um, according to their lengths. So you might have the $5 note in the shorter slip and the $100 note in the longer slip, if you've got any that is. Uh, so a lot of ATMs are audio, so a person can take along their headphones and listen to the options being spoken out. Um, also getting used to the idea that a lot of, or all keypads should have the a tactile indicator on the 5 and then knowing to go across or to the left for 4 and up for 8, uh, for example. So different types of phones, uh, big button phones are pictured here. So the picture on the left is the senior's phone. Um, the numbers speak out when you press them. It only does texts and calls. Uh, and it also has an emergency button on the back uh, which calls through to five pre-programmed numbers when you press it. So a really nice option for uh, people who don't want all the bells and whistles, who don't want to be caught up with the internet and camera. It just displays big um, numbers on the screen when you press each button. Um, there's lots of big button landline phones available, so the pictures on the middle and on the right are the phones that are available free through the Telstra Disability Service. So basically if so someone's with Telstra, they can call up and say that they're having trouble using a standard phone and they'll get these one of these phones sent for free just with the um, cost of their line rental. So people can try um, voice dialing, so they might say call Sally instead of having to navigate through the phone to call me. Um, they can also have audio output, so using accessibility options um, where the phone has a voice output for all the information that you're reading. And I'll touch more on um, using phones in the next webinar as well. So mobility and safety, basically um, a lot of people with a vision impairment, as you can imagine, have trouble getting from A to B safely um, at home and in the community especially. So some of the home modification options, um, high contrast non-slip step nosing um, on the edge of each step. Uh, if a person doesn't want permanent modifications, they can consider putting down high contrast non-slip tape to identify obstacles in the house a bit better. Um, they could consider increased lighting over important areas like kitchen benches, stoves, mirrors, um, so they might consider LED down lights to direct the light onto the surface. They might also consider high contrast paint. So as you can see um, in the photo there on the right, having um, a dark bench top contrasted with light walls and light floor. I find the fit over sunglasses to work really well for people with a vision impairment. Um, so basically glare can be a real killer for anyone with a vision impairment and a good pair of sunglasses is really important. Uh, so the fit over sunglasses fit over the person's spectacles. Um, they block out glare from the side as well as from above and you can choose different frames and lenses. 
So the orange lenses are nice because they block out um, glare but they don't cut out the amount of light. So a lot of people with a vision impairment will put on a standard pair of sunglasses and find that everything gets really dark. Um, whereas with the orange lenses everything can still be nice and bright for the person. So there's different types of canes available to help with mobility. So the support cane is like a walking stick but it's white with a red tip. So basically it provides the support of a walking stick but also identifies the person as being vision impaired. The ID cane just identifies someone as being vision impaired and the long cane um, is used for identification but also as for um, protection and information about the ground surface. So the person um, would arc it out in front um, to tell them about what's on the ground in front of them. So you can refer to um, Guide Dogs or Vision Australia if your uh, client is having trouble with mobility and you think they might need um, one of these types of canes potentially. There are also electronic mobility aids um, which are used to, uh, to provide additional information on top of the canes that we've just talked about. Um, so there's GPS options which talk out a route for people as well as tell them what's um, around them in their environment. Um, there's also apps available that do this as well which I'll touch on in the next webinar. The Ultra Cane and the Mini Guide basically have beams which come out the front and they will tell the person when there's something um, right in front of them. So the long cane only tells the person what's on the ground in front of them whereas the ultra cane or the mini guide might alert the person to an overhead branch or something. Um, so Guide Dogs Queensland and Vision Australia can provide some funding for electronic mobility aids as well as the KT scheme, the Community Aids and Equipment Assistive Technology Initiative. So thank you for spending this time with me today. Um, please call Life Tech if you have any further questions or would like further information or alternatively pop in or give us an email or um, have a browse yourself on our website. Thanks again.